On the Arabian leg of our gadget show world tour, Jason and I had now left the desert behind and in a suitably stylish Range Rover Evoque had arrived in the opulent city of Dubai where we wanted to try out three very promising compact digital cameras. And first up was the feature-rich Olympus SZ31MR. And for our first location, we were thinking big. I've got a great idea. Uh-huh. Mm, second right. OK. Yeah. You can't miss it. It's the tallest building in the world. The Burj Khalifa. Standing 830 metres tall, the Burj Khalifa towers over downtown Dubai. And once at the top, we quickly got to grips with the Olympus. 24 times zoom on the Olympus is, I reckon, the camera's biggest selling point. That, coupled with the image stabilisation on the Olympus, yep. is a really handy feature. And I had a really nice opportunity to test it in that particular location. I'm zoomed right in, and I'm trying to photograph fast-moving cars on a freeway. As soon as I depressed the shutter release, instantly the image stabilisation came in and the image was sharp. Having done all we could at the Khalifa, Jason and I sped off in search of pastures new. Why don't we go somewhere completely different? I'm with you. Some, some, somewhere old school, earthy Dubai. And there is no place more earthy in Dubai than its bustling old town. Here we continue testing the Olympus, trying its magic filter mode that automatically adds effects to your images in real time. I've got it set up to take a standard shot and a pinhole shot for a very moody effect of this, this cool geezer just sat here. You can also add effects like soft focus or even sparkles. So it's completely synthetic, but I, I really like that. I think it's a really nice idea. Polly, 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 Polly. Oh! <laughs> The Olympus boasts another superb feature called multi-record. <laughs> that is really, really cool. <laughs> enabling you to capture 1080p video and 16 megapixel stills at the same time. What were those pictures like? They were beautiful. Yeah. Bearing in mind, these are images taken while you're also recording yeah. full yeah. HD video on a device that big that goes in your back pocket. And they are crystal clear. They are crystal sharp. Clear. Beautiful clarity, vibrant oh, man. colours. Makes me salivate. <laughs> On to camera number two, the Fuji F770 EXR. And I kicked off proceedings using its clever Pro Focus mode. Now, check out Pro Focus. I took this picture earlier. It takes two shots. So the first shot, it softens the focus on the background. The second shot just brings out the definition in the foreground. And then it merges the two photos together. That's brilliant. And it's just what expensive digital SLR cameras do with their expensive optics. I think I'd use that quite a lot. Yeah, I think I would too. Yeah. Another neat feature is the Fuji's ability to capture full 360-degree panoramas. It's almost faultless, and yet she's bobbing around up and down on a boat. To get that kind of steady connection of the frames is really impressive. And just shows how easy it was to use as well, because I only had one hand free. Having crossed over the Dubai Creek, we got to grips with the Fuji's inbuilt landmark navigator function that helps you identify local points of interest. You can point the camera up and using the inbuilt GPS, the camera will tell you what you're looking at. Isn't that interesting? The Grand Mosque of Dubai. Uh -huh. He's showing on the screen, and they've just obviously had a, a call, to, call prayer. to prayer. Yeah. It's really quite beautiful, isn't it? It's also got this mode when you flick it down, mm -hmm. uh, it goes into like a radar view. So it's a top down view of all the landmarks around you. So the Fuji isn't just a camera, it's actually a tourist guide. Our third and final camera was the Panasonic TZ30, and we took it to Deerham Market, where almost immediately we spotted our first subject. There was an Arabian gentleman sitting on a Harley Davidson. That is so cool, man. That is such it a cool is, shot. It is very cool. If anything screams Dubai, West meets Middle East, it's that picture. The lens really helped make that picture. Yeah, you're right. For my money, the Leica optics on that Panasonic are brilliant. The Panasonic also boasts a three centimeter macro focus feature, perfect for taking pictures in a spice souk. That's a great Amazing, shot. That was a great it? shot. It's fantastic shots. Beautiful colours. It seems so straightforward. It. Colours are sensational. They're just popping out. Yeah. In fact, that looks even bluer and even more beautiful than what it does in real life. No, it, I, I agree, actually. I quite like the way it's enhanced yeah. it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> All that remained was to test the Panasonic's 1080p video functionality. I wanted to do it in a novel and different way. Wasn't exactly sure how yeah, I was going to okay. do that. And then Jace. Thank, Brian, thank you, an Arabian gentleman. <laughs> thank you. Just be ten minutes, yeah? 
Right, ten minutes. Thank you. Paul? Yeah? I've got a great way for you to test the video on the Panasonic. OK. What, me? Yeah. My cargo was Polly. I checked her on my cart. Off and we went. went. Through this narrow alleyway full of these, these very surprised um, store holders. But it was actually a really cool shot. The, the effect was, was great. It was brilliant. We even got a round of applause by the time we, we got did, to the yeah. end, didn't we? <laughs> Did that work? Of course it worked. Did it look good? It was awesome. And we'd even put a smile on the locals' faces. And so to the G ratings. And it's three Gs for the Panasonic. We really liked his Leica lens, 1080p video and faultless three centimetre close macro function. The Fuji also gets three Gs. It offers great 16 megapixel stills, full 360 panoramas and a handy built-in GPS function. Finally, the Olympus gets 4Gs, thanks to its huge 24x zoom, great image stabilisation and superb multi-record feature. <laughs>